Hi, Steve again. Another video on the software control. This time we're going to look at Hyperdex. We just had a look at media players a little while ago. Apologies for fingers getting in the way and things. So, there we go. So, we're on to the uh, tab that says media players. Instead of media, play uh, media players, where we were before, we're going to look at the Hyperdex. Remember, this system does not talk it's not configured to talk to Hyperdex 1 to 5. It is for their video sources, but it's not for control. The only Hyperdex we can control from here is Hyperdex 6, and that's for when we want to record things and then play them back in later. So, as you saw when we did the uh, video on the control panel, how to record things there, you can record things here as well. There is a record button. If you have a source set up, uh, and you've got the input button pushed on the front of the Hyperdex, as we had before, you can record material on Hyperdeck 6 as long as it's rooted from one of the AUX, but, AUX buses. We'll look at that on another video. Uh, at this point what we're simply going to do is we're just simply going to play material that's on Hyperdeck 6 right now. So, as we saw before, um, in this particular case, uh, using this particular function, you have pull down menus rather than twiddle knobs and stuff like that like you had on the physical control panel. So. Uh, if I find my Ultra HD clock from the pull-down menu, so there it is, there's the Ultra HD clock, and I push, want to play it, I can push, push play, and as you can see from the clocks, it's actually running. Uh, it starts at about 10 seconds in, so I'll just let it run for a few seconds, and if I punch up the Hyperdeck 6, which I think is Cam 18, so I'll bring up Cam 18, there you go, there's a clock on the program output. Uh, if it doesn't say Hyper 6 here on the software, this this menu, this item here will tell you the the name of the source that it will come up under. So in this case, CM18, camera 18. Push the camera 18 button and we've got our pictures. I'm going to pause that just by clicking on the play button. Ooh, a little late. There we go, went to black. So, what you can also do, you can use things like jog and shuttle using this jog, jog button here. So I'm currently playing, and I want to shuttle back. So I grab hold of it, and I shuttle back, and there you see it's going backwards now. And I can shuttle forwards, and back again. And you get that idea. Okay, let go of it, and it just sits. Uh, there is a jog function, I believe. Just got to find that. Here's a jog button, so it's that's between shuttle and jog, and you've got a spinny wheel, so you can spin your wheel and as if it was a thumb wheel. I don't know what the technical term for it is, but I'd I'd, move, I'd use my thumb on it probably. So there you go, backwards and forwards. Back to jog, and you can jog. Okay, okay, you can set it to loop playback again, just as you did on the, on the physical control panel. And you've got buttons here which take you to beginning of the clip and end of, end of the clip. Oh, sorry, next clip. So that's, cap, that's clip 7, clip 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, etc. So these buttons here go to the previous and next clip. Let's find 6. And we'll jog into place. Uh, we'll shuttle into place. A little longer. Yeah, there we go. And push play. And we can set it to loop. And that's pretty much all there is to do it. You, all there is to it. Uh, there is only one hyperdeck player. There's one menu of the material that's on the storage on the hyperdeck. Select your clip, play, and away you go.